If you're someone who solely enjoys working with pure JavaScript and not TypeScript, but at the same time you would prefer TypeScript's type checking ability in your code, then let me break down how you can avoid TypeScript by utilizing some different type checking abilities in pure JavaScript itself. Now whether you like the pure JavaScript approach of type checking or not depends on you because it can get a bit too much and that's why a lot of developers prefer using TypeScript instead to keep things simple. So let's break down the ways to avoid using TypeScript forever. Number 1. Use array.is array to check array types. Instead of relying on the type of operator which returns object for arrays, you can use the array.is array to check if a value is an array. This method returns true if the provided value is an array and false otherwise. Array.is array is definitely accurate and helps in type checking when it comes to arrays as compared to other keywords in JavaScript. Number 2 would be to use object.is to compare primitive types. When it comes to comparing primitive types in JavaScript, the type of operator and strict equality or triple equals have some limitations, especially when dealing with special values like nan. To overcome these limitations, you can use object.is method to accurately compare primitive values. The object.is method compares two values and returns true if they are the same value. It handles special cases like nan, minus zero, and plus zero correctly, which can produce unexpected results with triple equals to and type of. For example, here, when we use object.is, it correctly compares the values and returns true because x and y are both nan. However, when we use x triple equals to y, it returns false. This is because triple equals to does not handle nan comparison correctly, treating x and y as different values. Similarly, when we compare the types using type of x triple equals to type of y, it returns true because both x and y have the same type number. However, this type comparison does not provide provide information about the actual values being compared. So that's how object.is correctly compares the value for special cases like nan. Let's take another example. In this example, num is assigned the result of 0 by 0, which is nan. When we compare num with nan using object.is, it correctly returns true. However, the strict equality comparison num triple equals to nan returns false. So again, object.is provides a more reliable alternative to triple equals to and type of when dealing with these special cases and primitive values. Number 3 would be to use number.isfinite for checking finite numbers. The number.isfinite method allows you to check if a value is a finite number. This method provides a more reliable way of checking for finite numbers compared to using type of or mathematical comparisons like less than or greater than. It takes a simple argument, value, which is the value you want to check, and returns true if the value is a finite number, and false otherwise. For example, the first three number.isfinite calls return true because the provided values 42, 3.14, and minus 10 are finite numbers. However, the next set of number.isfinite calls returns false. This is because infinity, minus infinity, nan, a string 42, and null are not finite numbers. If you use type of, then infinity, minus infinity, and nan would be considered a number, which would cause confusion if you specifically wanted to check for just finite numbers. Using number.isfinite provides more accuracy and specifically focuses on the finite nature of the number and excludes other non-finite values. Number 4 would be to use object wrappers for types such as boolean, string, or number. In a nutshell, object wrappers are what allow you to use str.length while working with a string or num.value of while working with a number. Numbers, strings, booleans are usually a primitive in JavaScript, which means data that is not an object and has no methods or properties. But being a primitive, strings or numbers are able to access properties like length or value of, similar to how an object does, because every time we write str.length, JavaScript behind the scenes converts it to an object wrapper, which looks something like this. And this conversion allows primitives to use additional methods and properties like an object. So object wrappers for primitive types can be useful in type-related operations because they provide additional methods and properties that are not available on the primitive values themselves. These methods and properties can help with tasks such as type conversions, value manipulation, and checking the type of the wrapped value. For example, in type conversions, object wrappers provide methods to explicitly convert the wrapped value to other types. For example, the toString method converts the wrapped value to a string representation. Here, the boolean object wrapper bool value is converted to a string using the toString method. The resulting str value variable holds the string representation of the wrapped boolean value. 
Object wrappers helps in value manipulation as well because it provides methods and properties to manipulate the wrapped value. For instance, the value of method returns the primitive value itself, allowing you to perform operations or assign it to other variables. Here, the value of method is used to extract the primitive boolean value from the boolean object wrapper bool value. The resulting primitive bool variable holds the extracted boolean value. And object wrappers also help in type checking as they provide the constructor property which can be used to check the type of the wrapped value. This property references the constructor function that created the object wrapper. Here, we check if bool value is an instance of the boolean object wrapper by using the instance of operator. Additionally, we compare the constructor property of the bool value with the boolean constructor function to verify the type. It's important to note that the type of operator will still return object for object wrappers. So using the constructor property or instance of is generally preferred for type checking. So these are a few ways object wrappers can really be useful for type related operations. Number 5 would be to use object.prototype.string.call when type of is insufficient in some cases. The type of operator may not provide enough information for accurate type checking. Instead, you can use object.prototype.toString.call to determine the exact type of a value. This method allows you to determine the exact type of a value and returns a string representation of the value's type. In this example, you can see how this method returns a string which represents the exact type of each value. So this is another way to accurately determine the type of a value, including complex types like arrays and objects. It provides a more precise representation compared to the limited information provided by type of. In number 6, it's important to remember that type of null returns object, which is considered a mistake in the language design. To accurately check for null, you can use methods like object.is, convert the value to a string, or detect its class to differentiate it from objects. Let's see how we can use object.is to check for null type accurately. Here, we are using object.is to check if the value is null. Since null is the same value as itself, the expression returns true. We can also check for null by converting the value to a string. Here, we convert the value to a string using string of value and compare it with null. If the value is indeed null, the comparison evaluates to true. Another way to check for null is by detecting the class of the value. JavaScript provides the object.prototype.toString method which returns a string representation of an object class. By applying this method to the value, you can distinguish null from other objects. As discussed in number 5 of this video, we know object.prototype.toString returns a string representation of the value type. So here, by comparing the resulting string representation with object null, we can accurately determine if the value is null. So by using these alternative methods, you can accurately check for null in JavaScript because type of null returns object, which is weird and not accurate. Now lastly in number 7, there are a few pointers I would like to share. So always use type of where reliable. Despite the limitations mentioned in the previous points, the type of operator is generally reliable for basic type checks, such as numbers, strings, booleans, and functions. Apart from that, make sure to read up on JavaScript data types and data structures so you can better understand their behavior and use them effectively. So by following these tips and understanding JavaScript types, you can effectively manage types in your code without relying on TypeScript or other type systems. However, keep in mind that these techniques provide runtime type checks and are not as powerful or comprehensive as static type checking provided by TypeScript or similar tools. TypeScript can help you do things faster and much efficiently as it checks everything during compile time. And also the code readability is properly maintained upon using TypeScript because it provides everything in a simplified and straightforward manner. So that's all for the video. If you found it insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe.